You may ask yourself why I'm standing like this. Because I'm a big guy. Some people call themselves big guys. Like my guest today. Ryback Reeves. Many of you remember from WWE as Ryback, Feed Me More. And he calls himself the big guy. Well, the big guy sat down with the bigger guy. And we sat and we chatted it up. And hear about what he's doing now with life outside the ring. Check it out. Right back. Hello. Long time no see, my good friend. It's and been years. Yes, and it is an honor to have you on the show today. Thank I, I appreciate the. Um, well, unfortunately, uh, the other throne is late. It's, it's late. no surprise. So, um, and I, I got a back out of me uh, coming up, so I have to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, it's just, you know, and it's the producer. I feel like yeah. every chance though yeah. that you could remind right me here. that you are the just bigger guy. Bigger. Yeah, just yeah, the bigger. Yeah. Uh, hence the, yeah. you do have the, uh, the moniker as the big guy. It, as advertised. As advertised, it's the big guy. And no I have people. to then inform them. Well, there is a bigger guy. Yes, and yes. That would be myself. So in this situation, uh, the bigger guy has to have the bigger chair. It's just so unfair. <laughs> it's just fair. Thank but, you for um, having me. All joking aside, man, I, I just want you to know how impressed I am with how you've been able to transition from the WWE yeah. to be, you are building an empire. Yes. And um, I'd like, before we get into all that good stuff, go back to before the big guy. Mm -hmm. um, were you always, as a child, wanting to be uh, in entertainment and wrestling and sports? Was that always something important to you? Yeah, it's... Uh... My mom has a video of me as a kid, I don't know, around four or five years old. And uh, essentially it was like baseball first, but I told her like, I'm gonna be a big time star. It was kind of like, and it was on camera saying that, I didn't know what that was, right. obviously. Um, and grew up and always, my dad was a bartender. My mom, and my mom uh, was, um, she's worked her whole life, but my mom's always been a, a big dreamer. And my dad was always just a hardworking blue collar bartender, retired bartender here in Vegas. And I feel like I got a good mix of um, a good work ethic from my father and that dreamer mentality that oftentimes people have one or the other. You have one or the other because a dreamer can be a waster. Yes. You know, and, we, and we've seen that. But one thing about you that I've always admired was your work ethic. You were a guy that never made any excuses. Yeah. Hurt, sick, indifferent, you were in the gym every day. Yeah. You're, if anything, you needed to be told to slow down sometimes. Which I've learned. Uh, we, well, yeah, we all learned the hard way. Yeah. 